I'm rolling. Okay, do, do you want to uh, just say anything? Just anything. Start? How does that sound? That's good. I got okay. it. Okay. Go ahead. Ready? Okay. okay. This is basically for an introduction and a an in and out of the uh, opening and close of the special. It's running out of price. Comment on the, uh, the concerts or process. Yeah, if you could tell me a little bit about how it came about and um, the process of it, and if you're, you know, if you're looking forward to it, something different for the New York Symphony. But just one thing at a time. So whenever you're ready, you can just just tell me a little bit about how the idea for the concert came about. Well, it's part of the life of a symphony orchestra that every year it puts on a gala concert. And it's a very... Let me say this again. Okay, sure. Part of one thing that... One thing that symphony orchestras do is once in a while have the exciting experience of playing a gala concert where we collaborate with musicians, outstanding musicians, from outside of the field of classical music. And because we're so lucky to be living in the same city, we've got Estefan and the Miami Sound Machine, this very happy collaboration came up, and we all seized on the idea quite enthusiastically. And we've had a number of days of rehearsing now, lots of different musicians from different backgrounds playing music that all has a kind of Latin feel to it, some by Broadway composers, some by jazz composers, some by Latin American composers, some by Gloria and her songwriters themselves, and quite a mixture of things. Okay, um, were the songs chosen specifically to have a Latin feel because of Gloria's participation in it, or was it just something that you felt was a good thing to do for, in Miami? Well, as it happens, in the near future, the New World Symphony is going to make its first recording for a major record label, international label and this is the uh, Decca Argo group, and they were very interested that as our first record, we might do a record of Latin American music. So it worked out very nicely, the combination of the gala and our making our first record to focus on Latin American music, which is a tribute to how proud we are to be here in Miami. So can we look forward to some of the same songs that you'll be doing at the concert on this album then? No, this album will be entirely symphonic music, won't be songs, but it will be a few of the pieces we're going to do on the concert, plus a number of other really gigantic pieces, some of them for a very vast percussion ensemble written by Cuban composers of the 1930s and uh, Argentinian and uh, Brazilian composers of the 30s and 40s. Um, we listened to you, you know, rehearsing here, and it was wonderful. Thank you. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the symphony itself? Did you just film some of this piece that we were mm -hmm. just doing? Absolutely. Uh -huh. A little bit yeah. about the symphony itself. And well, sure. This, uh, this symphony you just heard playing is uh, by uh, Carlos Chavez, Mexican composer. This piece was written in the 30s, and it's kind of an exploration of folklore, trying to get the sound of the folkloric instruments into the symphony orchestra. And it's still a very hip and happening piece, even all these years later after it was written. And the New World Symphony is an orchestra of young American musicians who come from all kinds of different backgrounds, who are here to play for a few years, to kind of find themselves musically, to go past what they learned in university and make the next step in their lives into professional music, whether it be in symphony orchestras or chamber ensembles or some of them in jazz ensembles or pop ensembles or universities or who knows. And can you tell me, I guess, I'm sure that you're all looking forward to this concert on Saturday. Could you sum up the feelings of the New World Symphony? I would never dare to try and sum up the feelings of a whole symphony orchestra, let alone an orchestra of such spirited, original, young, talented musicians. <laughs> but I could just say that they uh, adore Gloria and that her music is uh, often heard in the residence halls where they live. So the experience of being able to collaborate with her and to play all this very up music I know means really a lot to them. Um, and is there anything else you'd like to say to us, just anything that I haven't asked you that you'd like to say about the concert or about the symphony? Well, I can just say that I hope that people are really going to appreciate this concert because it's like preparing a whole opera or a whole years-long tour just for one night. I mean, I've been involved in a, I've been involved in a lot of one-night-only events in my life, but I think this is the absolute top. It's wonderful. Good. That's it.